Congrats on your nomination. You. Oscars. Oscars for you guys. I mean, but looking back at the process of making this film, though, I mean, animation means the world to you, I'm sure. But why? I mean, why does, why does animation mean to you guys something so much, so passionate about it? When I was a kid, it was my favorite thing, and I always loved to draw, so I, it was something that I loved it, but I also wanted to eventually find out how I could maybe do it, and that was, I mean, when you're a kid growing up in Colorado, that seems about as far away as the moon, and um, I eventually made it here, made it into the industry, and now I get to make these cartoons, and so for me, I mean, it really is a bit of a dream come true. Yeah. Yeah. Disney dream, maybe, perhaps. I mean, do you guys have, I mean, any influence, did Disney influence you at all when it comes to creating stories and, and making art like this? I loved Disney films. Um, there was a particular moment when I was watching on TV. I was in Colorado watching my, my little television set downstairs and they were showing Saludos Amigos. And there was a sequence from that where um, Donald and two other birds sing the Three Cavalieros song. It was the most energetic, like, um, like l just vibrant, exciting thing I had ever seen. And that was the moment that I thought, okay, that's what I want to do. For the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah. same for you, Chris? Oh, Kirk, yeah, Kirk, sorry, yeah, Chris, there yeah. we go, there you yeah. go, Chris. <laughs> no, no, I, I love, you know, it's always meant a lot to me, you know, the movies like Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, Lilo and Stitch, you know, those are my favorite Disney films, yeah. I think. I think those are the best yeah. Disney films that they've ever made, really. Yeah. And there's a long, I mean, there's a longevity to animation that, that doesn't exist in other places. Right. I mean... People are, I mean, my daughter watches Cinderella still. I watch it still. I watch Mulan and, and things like that. I mean, they live forever. Right. Uh, a, it's a different thing, as you know. So um, so there's a, there's a responsibility that you feel while you're making it to try to make these as best as you can. You want to do the best work you possibly can. And that inspiration has flown into what you guys created with the Croods, right? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. and you know, I mean, like the, the, the amount of, uh, you know, storytelling, is, especially in animation, I mean, it, it's because of the, how can, our stories are about 80, 85 yeah. minutes long. They're yeah. a certain amount of story. They're right. for kids. They're meant to not exclude any audiences. We all work in fables, yeah. you know? We all work in these kind of things. So I think we're always inspired by everybody's work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, well, I, like, I love the camaraderie that you have within the animation community. I mean, you guys have different studios and you guys have different goals, but at the heart of it, story. Right. Yeah. You know, and telling a good story through a you know a visual medium like animation, I think you guys are for sure, at least for this movie, is worth the world for. So. Um, congratulations again and best wishes on Sunday. All right, thanks yeah, thanks All right. again guys. Have a good one.